folks. I'm Dieter Melhorn. Come along with me on this trip as I go out on Thanksgiving Day to try out a new spinning reel and see if chicken is still the king of catfish baits. So here's what I'm doing today, guys. Uh, I'm heading out. We're not eating our Thanksgiving dinner until this afternoon, so I've got a little bit of free time to get out on the water this morning early before everything starts. Uh, it's kind of a rainy day. Uh, we've got some clouds, got some rain coming through, got a cold front moving in. So I'm gonna get on the water, do some drifting for a little bit, uh, and I'm gonna do another comparison. We're getting into the fall here. We're getting into cooler temperatures. And I'm gonna see if chicken is gonna hold up. I'm fishing it side by side with perch like I've done in videos. My past few guide trips, it's paid off. It's put fish in the boat. But I'm gonna see if a change is in place. And I'm also gonna show you a new spinning reel that I'm trying out here on some catfish. Man, I just had one slam my PC fun reel on the other side, the spinning reel I'm trying out. Then I had one slam this PC fun reel. Chaos 50. That chicken on that side, it folded it over. And it hit this one. It's not a big fish. Good hit though. Glad to get bit. I got perch on this side, chicken on the other. Uh, the red rods, just think red, those B&M rods are the ones with strawberry jello chicken. Just think red, B&M red, strawberry jello. Let him in here before he gets off. And my new PC fun spinning reel is over there. It's got chicken on this side. I've got the perch. Number one on perch. I got to check that other one because it got hit for sure. Little channel. Boom. Well, pal, there's one in the boat, guys. It's not exactly huge, but uh, it'll work. I'm glad to get bit. Uh, little channel cat. Uh, going to keep dragging through here. I've got the wind at my back. Going to keep moving up this area here. I've got a big flat. Going to go through some river channel, come up out of the river channel, go into another flat on the other side. We're just going to see where the fish are. I'm not sure which side of the boat he's going to go to. That's a decent one, though. That's, uh, that one's on a perch. I was on a perch. That may be a bigger bait, too. I don't remember which one I had out. We'll know when we get the bobber in. Slime cat rod, slime cat reel. 30 pan Andy line. It's a better fish. Feeling some love, baby. Feeling some love. Feeling some love. Funny, I drug a little bit this morning. I was going into the wind. Could not catch a fish, could not get a bite. Slight wind, wind picked up. I'm drafting, dragging with the wind and I'm hooked up. It's a good thing. Now, I'm on the uh, chicken side of the boat, but I worked a rod around. This is a perch one. Okay, what we're dealing with here. Oh yeah, nice fish, nice fish. Take that all day long, all day long, all day long. Oh, open that mouth, open that mouth. Boom, got that mouth, got that mouth. Pow, fish in the boat. Yeah, he hit a big perch head. I got a feeling with water getting cooler, we're gonna get more and more of these big baits being taken, less of the chicken. That's my thinking. I get that hook up his mouth. That'll be good. Easy, simmer, simmer, simmer. There we go. See, so gonna weigh, oh yeah, 13 pounds. Nice fish. Got a little scuff on his back there. Much as I thought, we've uh, been coming off some flood waters and uh, pretty fish, get it back. Uh, fight's been tough. And uh, I had a feeling I had some guy trips where it's been some struggling fishing, but uh, I had a feeling some of these fish were locking down with all the water moving through that perch head. And uh, but I knew 
great bites don't last and bad bites don't last sooner or later they're gonna feed and hopefully that's what we're on to i don't know we only got two so far we get them back in the water see if we can get another one hey there you go guys number two that's a good fish uh, i had a pull down earlier it really slapped a rod over thought that might have been that fish i never hooked up on it but i got that one in the boat the pull down the hard pull down was on chicken that one came on perch that's two in a row on perch so i'm curious if there is a difference is the tide is shifting a little bit uh, who knows who knows what's going on with it gonna keep dragging uh like i said one one fish one trip doesn't make a make a a complete test but definitely so far uh it's leaning toward perch that's why i don't like braid i've got braid on this one spinning reel here you notice that herky jerky kind of thing I like that smooth going over with the mono. Do you know what? It's a fish, I'll take it. I've got braid on the spinning reel. I want to put a couple of spinning reels on the boat today. And uh, this one's got braid on it. I use it saltwater fishing. So it's not like I'm opposed to braid. There are situations where I like it. It's just for this. I like my mono. I'm a mono guy. I like the forgiveness of mono. I like the abrasion resistance of mono. But I've got this one on here. So I want to show you guys, you can catch fish on spinning reels. I know you watch most of my videos and I've got all the bait casting reels, round reels, conventional reels, level lines, whatever you want to call them. But you can catch them on spinning reels too. Another channel. Tell you something, three fish guys. Three fish, every one of them's come on perch today. That one's gonna be a quick release. He barely hooked. I'm try to hook him as he falls into the boat. Come out, come out, sucker. There you go. Get you back alive. Yeah, dude, three fish. Every one of them on perch. Is the tide turning? Let's see. Get back in the water. All right, guys, made a little run down the lake, kind of got set up. I've got a chute where I can make a big, long, straight drift. Uh, I'm going to make a long drag up through here across a bunch of different stuff. Uh, I've got, uh, I'm probably going to do a live feed here in a little bit and uh, talk to some of uh, you folks out there. But uh, take some time here, see what we can catch. I think it's this one. Yeah. See if he's there. Ah, I think it came unbuttoned. I think we're losing. Oh, he's on that one now. See if we can keep that one connected. There we go. Boom. Not a pig, but we'll take it. Feels like a channel cat. My money's on channel cat. See what we got. See what we got. I'm going to nurse him in. Got a feeling he's got a little bitty whisker hook. Nurse him in. I'm gonna walleye fish him. Can't lose this one. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Nice and easy. Come to daddy. Nice and easy. Oh, come here, come here. Oh, he's barely hooked, barely hooked, barely hooked, barely hooked, barely hooked. Got him. Now, I told you I was trying out a new reel. Uh, I've got a spinning reel. I've been trying to do some spinning tackle videos uh, to show you guys you can use spinning tackle. Uh, and the one I've got on here is uh, from PC Fun. They have sent me some other reels, some round reels. Uh, matter of fact, I've got one in the spread today, one of their Chaos Bait Casters. That's a pretty good reel, especially for the money. Uh, and this one too is in that same price point, right around 50, 55 bucks. Uh, it's the Viper X, it's the 5000 uh, class reel. Uh, I put it side by side with a Pen Battle 2 that is a 4000. They're about the same size. Like I've said before on this whole size classification, it kind of varies manufacturer to manufacturer. Uh, but this reel uh, so far feels uh, and looks pretty good. Uh, good casting with it. I was worried about line capacity uh, because I'm running 30 pound mono. And I was wondering how much line, if I was gonna have enough line on here. When you're trolling, you got a lot of line out, got line, more line out than people are gonna have casting, and it appears to have plenty of line for what I'm doing. Uh, it 
supposedly has a lot of drag, I think around 30 pounds, which is way more than I need. So uh, it should do the trick. Uh, it's got a nice big uh, wide foam handle, which is very comfortable. And uh, hopefully I can get hooked into a fish here and uh, put it to the test. It's there. Boom, hooked up. Hooked up. Finally a chicken. Finally something on chicken and something on this PC fun reel. Go. It's another little one. I'm gonna have to nurse it. You wanna nurse it because I wanna see it. I really wanted about a 40 pound fish just to see what this reel would do. This is not the one for it. Little one. The reel feels good. Make sure I drag loose. I didn't even jail. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's in the rope. Oh, he's in part of the rope. Oh, he's wrapped all the way. This is a mess. Oh. Hey, say, stop, stop. Everybody wants to see you. Everybody. Oh, you're not even hooked now. <laughs> oh, my little prize. <laughs> evil, evil. Hang on, look at all this under. I got you out. <laughs> Channel cat. Get him back alive. Boom, there you go. Finally, chicken making a comeback. Uh, at least I got one. Uh, got hit on one there. And uh, it's uh, not on fire with the chicken, but at least I got something on it. Uh, we're gonna see what happens. I'm getting kind of closer to the bank over here. Maybe there's more fish in this area and wind's kind of been pushing in that direction for a few days. So maybe that's the trick on what's going on here. Uh, I'm gonna get them baited back up, get them back out there. Bam! We have found the chicken eaters. We have found the chicken eaters. That fish is wrapped up too. He's wrapped up, I can feel it. Pinky done caught one. Come on now. Come on, we're gonna nurse you in. Nurse you in. No fish left behind here, people. No fish left behind. Let's go, come on, baby, come on. Come on. Easy, easy. Oh, Summer. I see, I see. Oh, 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 yeah, come to daddy. Come to daddy. Come to papa. You got mud on you. I told you not to come in the house with mud on, but you did it anyway. You kids just don't listen anymore. Bam. Miss Blue. Miss Blue. Miss Blue. I'm kind of surprised the, um, the the perch is really, really, really doing good today for some reason. I'm not sure what's up. Uh, I'm not sure if there is a change going on or if there's something else to it. But uh having a hard time catching one of the chicken. Oh. Hooky, hooky. Sookie, sookie. Woo! Hooked up, baby. Hooked up, buttercup. Uh, yes, sir. Another chicken. Chicken making a comeback. We found the hungry chicken fish over here. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Hooked up, buttercup. I 
I swear a fish has a feel to it when it's barely hooked. It's like they're very head jerky. See where he's at. See where he's at. Hi. Come here, sucker. Got him. This guy is calling his wife out to look at this. Boom. It blew. That fish. That chicken. <gasps> Bag of life. It's kind of funny I'm doing a live feed uh, while I'm filming this. Uh, back over here behind me, I've got the uh, live camera going on. And uh, doing a live feed, kind of the whole fishing trip. And uh, people getting to see me catch some. Got that one on chicken, another one on chicken. So uh, plucking them off, no super huge monsters, but I'm getting some. Oh no. We got a mess at the back of the boat. I think there's another fish back here that has swam into a bunch of different lines. Oh uh, boy. It's on this one. That is the greatest untangle job I've ever done in my entire life. And the fish is still there. Simmer, simmer, simmer. Boom. Boom, baby. There he is. Mud covered. There he is, guys. Boom. All right, bam, there you go. Got that mess untangled. That was a lot of stuff tangled up together. A little flurry right here at the end. Two decent fish uh, together right up here on the bank. Uh, one on chicken, one on perch. I think it ended up evenly split today with uh, eight fish total. And I think four apiece is what it ended up being. So uh, a tie. Chicken kind of made a comeback. But it's... Uh, not bad i think the fishing's better in the afternoon and i think on my trips where i'm out here this week that's when i'm going to be out here i'm going to be out here in the afternoon fishing well folks if you made it this far thank you for watching here are a couple more videos that i think you're going to like i'd watch that one and then that one no no do do that one first and then that one i, I don't know just watch them both they're both good